A warning tonight about a do-it-yourself trend, home tattoos. While DIY tattoos allow for ultimate creativity, critics say the trend can be really risky. Our Alicia Smith has more. From head to toe, Robin Marquis loves her tattoos. She inked some herself and also had some friends do some for her at home. I think uh, having the experience of having a tattoo at home is really awesome. The National Tattoo Association says those at home experiences are a growing trend, a trend that gives them growing concerns. It's a trade that needs to be taught and if you're not taught properly, you're not going to be doing proper work. The association says it's become easier to get a tattoo outside of a licensed and inspected shop. Just log online and you'll find directions on how to tattoo with a sewing needle. This YouTube video shows how to make your own tattoo gun. And you can get complete DIY kits on the web containing needles, ink, possibly even an electronic tattoo machine. No experience necessary. Are they clean? Are they keeping things sterile? Uh, are they using the proper procedures? Are they uh, using the proper ink? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration takes complaints about tattoo ink related infections, but does not track how many infections are related specifically to do it yourself tattoos. However, a report of an infection from contaminated ink sparked a recent recall of some online kits. Using unsterile equipment can be dangerous, especially to people with compromised immune systems. If the infection spreads systemically into the bloodstream, it could become a life-threatening situation. It could also threaten the limb if the infection is very deep-seated in the soft tissue. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Okay. Amish Adalja warns that with any tattoo, you need to know there are risks involved. You're breaching your skin. You're breaching a part of your immune system to apply this tattoo. So everything needs to be sterile. Nicole West creates and sells home tattoo kits. She got a certification for infection control and tries to help do-it-yourselfers do it as safely as possible. She equipped her kits with medical gloves, sterile needles and ink, alcohol wipes, and information on how to prevent diseases. I know people I who know. stick and poke using random objects around the house. Not necessarily the best thing for creating a tattoo. Robin says she feels safe and has never had a problem with any of her do-it-at-home tattoos and each one is a reminder of a special time in her life. And having my community members, my family, my partners use my body as a canvas, I think is a, is a unique thing that you don't get from um, being in a studio with a tattoo artist you may not know. Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. I mean, do what you want, but that does not seem like a good idea at all. Do no. it yourself tattoos at home. Do you hear about the sewing needle just making yeah, it into a tattoo yeah. thing? No, no. Okay.